Howdy, I'm Mr. Patches123, and welcome to the first tutorial series on Minecraft's game test framework. Today's episode will be on setup and, well, the infamous Hello World, a favorite programming language. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start by just clicking this link here, which is the download for the pack. If I'm going too fast, I don't know. So, yeah, it'll pull up this garbage. All right. You're going to go to Downloads, that's where it'll be, and you're going to double click or right click, whatever you're choosing if you're on Mac, uh, I don't know, but uh, let's see, so yeah, you got to go to uh, Extract Files, I got to find it, Extract All, Extract, hit the X button, alright, now we're going to go back to YouTube and I'll find it, alright. Let's see, okay, so we gotta copy this. So you're gonna copy this path, all right? All right, and you're gonna click up here in this space up here, all right? And then paste. So it'll take you to here. All right, now you're gonna drag this folder, all right? To your pens. You're, you're gonna enjoy that. Uh, let's just move it down. You can pin it wherever you want. Just make sure you're not going to like drag it into like you see where it says create link in generators. You want to pin to you make sure it says pin to quick access. Put your mouse like in between two things because if you pin it in it, it'll just put a shortcut in a file and you'd be like, what the crap? Okay, so once you do that, all right, now we're going to go back to downloads. All right, you're going to control C that. And we're going to click the com.mojang, alright. You may see some dat files or whatever. And developmental behavior packs. Alright, I'm going to delete the one I had. And we're going to paste that in. Or you can just drag it in there. And then drag it into like where it's supposed to go, alright. So what you're going to see is you're going to see manifest, text, and scripts. So in manifest, we're going to open that up with notepad. If you want to see how to do that. So open with notepad or so we haven't installed visual studio yet which we're going to do here in a second but we're going to open with notepad as i repeat myself four times all right we're going to go back to google all right we're going to search uid generator and then we're just going to go to here i might link this in the description so you're just going to click copy and then we're going to go back to our notepad and we're going to select from this first quotation mark or whatever they're called. Uh, uh, not quotation. I don't know. It's not a quotation mark. It's uh, quotes. Or the first quote. And then we're going to go to the second quote and then paste it in. So you just paste in the UID. Basically what this will do is make your pack unique. And uh, yeah, okay. Then we're just going to go down here and change something to an 8 or... You can technically just change like random numbers. You just have to be careful and make sure you're changing a number. I don't know if it matters if you change it to a letter, but yeah, just change random numbers down here. Or you can change the UID completely. So if you wanted to, you could go back and do that. All right, so we're going to close that and then uh, go back to our file. It, it'll, it'll take you a minute to get used to garbage. Okay, so scripts. It's fine. We'll deal with that in a minute. All right. So we have text. It's pretty simple. It's literally like you can change this. You can just put like Bob or whatever you're. I hate my bad. So yeah, you don't have Control Z past one one thing, which is annoying. So you can just do uh like by Bob or something. I don't know your your gamer tag or something. Discord. I don't know. And that'll display it in a certain null save. Okay, now what we're going to do is install Visual Studio Code. So we're going to go back to the YouTube tutorial here. All right. I'm going to have to just create two tabs of the YouTube tutorial. Yeah, just ignore the video there. I just did that so you can see a description of some sort. It'll look some, somewhere. This. You may have to scroll down a little further than I am. But, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to click through this link here. Take you to Visual Studio Code. Download for Windows. Just click keep. Don't be afraid. It's just how Windows works. They don't want crap exploding, you know. I don't know. 
Yeah, you have TypeScript, JavaScript, different languages. So you're going to, you know, be in your downloads, right? You can either open it here or you can open it here. Just click open. I accept the agreement. Then we'll do some setup or whatever. Your computer may end up crashing. I don't know. <laughs> it won't crash. That was a joke. It's just my fan is going mad right now for no reason. But yeah, all right. So once you do that, we're gonna install Node.js. And then you just click the recommended one. If you're feeling special, you can do that one. If you're 32 bit, I don't know, find it. But uh, you're just going to open it. Yeah, so basically, uh, you just go through the setup or whatever, and then it's, it's not difficult. I already have it installed. I'm too lazy to delete it. All right, now we're going to go to our pack extensions, go to install, open Visual Studio Code. I already have it installed, but you just click enable, I think. Or in install and then enable or something like that. And then we're going to do debugger. I haven't used this. It might have some intelligence in it. I'm not entirely sure. And then you just install and enable. Maybe it's just install. I'm not, I don't remember. And then JS IntelliSense. You can click always allow. I feel like it keeps doing that, which is annoying. The idea. And then, all right, now we're going to go to our, actually the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open Visual Studio Code. All right, so you'll have like, so what we're gonna do is we're going to open, see remove, okay. So we're going to, Add folder to workspace. All right, we're going to find our conduct mojang. We're going to add developmental behavior packs to it. I have a bunch of garbage. All right, it, you, it'll probably just see you sample game test pack. If you've done add-ons before, you might see some packs. All right, so you see all this garbage here. All right, it looks the same as it did in the file explorer. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. Remember how to, what is this control panel? I don't know. Oh, I, uh, oh wait, okay. All right, so you can go down here and then you can drag it up. So you see how my cursor is right there? You can drag up the control panel, right? And you're just gonna go to uh, terminal, right? And then paste. Actually, you probably need to update this anyway. No. All right. Now, once you do that, all right. Now you should have some IntelliSense. All right. If you have all your extensions installed, if you like something else, then that's cool. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create Hello World. Alright, so what you're going to start with is commands. I'm going to kick this thing's ass. Wait, we, we, we got to import. Alright, yeah, we got to import first. I always get ahead of myself. Alright, so we're going to import commands. Yeah, commands. And a world from... I think I'm doing that right from Mo Jang Minecraft. I can spell so Minecraft. All right, so once we do that, yeah, that looks better. All right, so once we do that, 
Now we're going to do com command dot run. Alright, now we're just going to say, say hello world. You can put whatever you want here. It's just like commands. And then world dot get dimension and then over world. Alright. Yeah, I need to make sure I install the things again because I don't I didn't have this like ten minutes ago, so yeah, I probably should have updated it after one point seventeen point three. Okay, it should be good. Alright. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Minecraft. Alright, um it'll do its thing I guess. Probably just restart it real quick. And then I'll let it load a minute. Stupid me media fireman. Yeah, it'll just throw ads at you for no reason. Alright, there we go. Alright, once Minecraft loads and figures out what it's doing. Uh, I have a lot of developmental packs, so crap is a little slow. Ignore those. Those aren't even from... I don't know what pack that's even from at this point. Alright, so we're going to create a new world. So game test, tutorial, right, default game mode, creative, or whatever you want it to be, it doesn't actually matter. Right, make sure you go down here and turn on enable game test framework. If you just air or whatever, it's fine, don't worry about it. Turn off weather shock, do all this if you want. You can turn on education, edition doesn't do anything. I mean, it makes your chat a little laggy, you know. Makes it so you can mute people. That's about all it really does. Alright, so you should see sample game test pack. Don't worry about the missing pack icon. on. It doesn't do anything. Alright. So once we do this, make sure you have all your, Make sure that's enabled. Alright, we're going to create world. Alright. It may take a minute depending on how many developmental packs you have. I have a lot, but it's still somewhat quick. Surprisingly. Alright. I probably didn't actually say anything. There's a reason for that. The reason why I didn't say anything is because it ran that before I joined. Which is how game test works. So what we gotta do is uh, we're going to yeah, what's the best? Okay. So since this didn't run, I don't know why it always says that error. You get a nice world here. Nice and beautiful Minecraft. Alright, so the way we're going to fix that. Alright, since that didn't run, due to the fact that it ran before you even loaded into the game. Because we know Say Hello World works. So what we're going to do, and also I had no content over here, so yeah, it is correct. It's just running before I got in the game. So we're going to do world dot event dot not before chat. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll just do before chat. A subscribe. All right, now we're going to you do basically you do two of these. You do a arrow operator, and then that. Okay, now you just create an event. Alright, now we're going to copy this one. Alright, we're going to paste it. Alright, now if we open up Minecraft. Or go back to Minecraft. All right, now we're going to re-log, and then we're going to go back into the world. All right. So if you type in chat, you'll see hello world. 
which is nice. Yeah, that'll be your first script right there. And uh, yeah, you, you can modify things in chat. You can actually kind of do custom commands, which is cool. You can do quite a few cool things with Game Test. Yeah, that'll be all for this video. I'll see you guys.